aortic arch right here, which is branching to the brachiocephalic, and then the left subclavian arteries. So if we think about our sheep heart, we know we have the aortic arch, and then another vessel crosses in front of it from, from right to left. So this is going to be that vessel right here. Just this part, it's going to branch into, it is going to branch into the lungs, but just this section right here is part of your pulmonary artery, or vein. No, artery. Blue is a vein, this is a part of your pulmonary artery, or that's what we're calling it. So pulmonary artery, aortic arch, brachiocephalic artery, left subclavian artery. Um, yes, this is your right subclavian artery. So this is your, your uh, superior vena cava. This on either side is gonna be the external jugular vein. This thinner one further towards the tail is gonna be the left and right subclavian veins and then your left and right common carotid arteries. Um, can you point out the azygous? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so azygous is going to branch off right where the superior vena cava meets the heart. So that's going to be right here. It's going to go downwards right here. That's your part of your azygous. It's pretty thick, almost as thick as the superior vena cava. And if we actually move this over here, we can see the azygous right here. It's this thick one running right here. Okay. So we see the superior vena cava and the azygous is coming down here. And it's branching into our intercostal muscles through these vessels. So those are your intercostal veins. And there are arteries down here too. But those are your intercostal veins right there. Okay. okay. Can you point out the thoracic artery or aorta? So that one will just be, it's just the dorsal aorta. It's just that it's in the, oh, okay. So it's gonna be hard to find up here. I would only really ask for it down here. Abdominal aorta, dorsal aorta, it doesn't matter. It's the same vessel. So I wouldn't ask for thoracic aorta just because it's up here and it's really hard to find. So this is gonna be that abdominal aorta right here. Yeah. Oh, this is easy, but the left and right oracle. Is that That's the right? right. So this is your thymus oh, gland. That's the thymus. Yep. Most people remove their thymus gland, but you did not. So you still have your pericardium covering your heart, so it's going to be harder to see. Oh yeah, we were going to take that off. Yep. So underneath her pericardium, right here, actually is the right oracle. Okay. Which, if you take that off, it'll be really obvious. The left one is a little bit less obvious to okay. see. Or right atrium. Yeah. You guys get down here.